Now, UC San Diego will be recommending a booster shot, even though the UC system is requiring it. This comes as the university is moving the upcoming winter quarter online. So News 8's Chris Grow is live on the campus of UC San Diego with details on that. Good morning to you, Chris. Obviously a, a big development this morning. Hey, good morning, and this is in stark difference from what the rest of the UC system is doing. Again, they're requiring it. UCSD is recommending it, and there are a lot of changes coming here for UCSD students, especially when the winter term starts. So let's get to it. In fact, students and staff will need to test before they can return to campus. And then once that happens, a letter did go out from the chancellor announcing a move back to online learning, all based on research from here and around the globe, in large part due to that surge in cases that we have seen and that they do expect in the next several weeks. Now, of course, right now, majority of students are already home for winter break, but there were some that were here and did learn about this plan. Now, the letter mentions how the Omicron variant is now the most common variant and that this anticipation will again be the reason and motivation behind all these changes. Now, the winter quarter is going to start online for two weeks from January 3rd through the 17th, during which time the staff will work on a more comprehensive testing regimen and then they'll reassess whether or not they will come back on campus. Now, even though in person classes will be on hold, camp campus housing will be open and campus residents can walk around and camp uh, can walk around campus, but are encouraged to stagger the times that they're here. Keep six feet of social dif distancing. We also know that food service is going to be to go only and while sports can resume, no spectators will be allowed. Now, again, at this time, it is unknown whether or not this two week period will go out beyond that time frame or if it will simply be just those two weeks. It really depends on how well the new testing regimen works and how well they are able to keep the surge in cases down, not only here, but really across our community. So it is something to continue to pay attention to and we will continue to cover as things move forward.